Weight loss with OMAD doesn't require perfection. It just requires you to do it enough. On my first month with OMAD, I screw up majorly. I binge ate for a good four times out of the month and I still saw impressive weight loss results. In today's video, I am gonna go over my eight month OMAD transformation. I'm gonna go through my weight from month to month and my transformation from month to month and show you guys how your OMAD journey may evolve. Everyone's different. This is gonna be my journey, but it can give you an idea for your journey. So let's jump right into it. So month one of OMAD, I started off at 229 pounds. Quick background story. I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds, got down to 209 pounds, got stuck at 220 for years, and then I started OMAD in September of 2022, and I ended OMAD last year for eight months straight after getting into a car accident. I used OMAD as a tool to help me restrict binge eating, and to this very day, OMAD has helped me with that and then some. But month one with OMAD, I messed up. I messed up my way into losing a total of 12 pounds and I lost a total of 10 inches. This was my first weight loss result with OMAD in September and that's with screwing up. In October, I lost eight pounds on OMAD. Mind you, forgot to mention the first two months of OMAD, I was not working out. So I lost those 12 pounds in September with no exercise. I did it strictly with diet. I was unable to work out due to the injuries I sustained from the car accident, mainly the head injury. I couldn't function. So doing OMAD was like the best way for me to take control of my health because I couldn't move. I couldn't exercise. So there's that. In November, I ended up holding my weight even though I was doing OMAD. Well, November was a very, very tough month for me. Um, this month was the month that I had a severe adverse reaction to a mental health med I was taking. I was taking amitriptyline and this med was prescribed to me to help me deal with my concussion headaches and pain. Well, I got instructions to increase my dose a little bit too quickly and my heart freaked out out. I started getting severe heart palpitations. I was not sleeping. I was insomnic. So of course, if you're in a situation where you're dealing with a severe stress like that, where you're dealing with heart palpitations, I'm talking about throughout the day, my heart would skip beats for hours and hours on end. And like my anxiety was out of control. And I knew it wasn't anxiety from like, you know, mental health anxiety. It was physiological anxiety. So I wasn't getting any sleep. I was getting an hour of sleep. When you're not sleeping, you're going to hold on to water. So good news with November, after going through that hell, I did manage to keep my weight the same. That is a win. I did not end up putting on weight. I did have a few relapses with binging, probably a day or two, but not as much as September and October. In November, I held between 208 pounds to 210 pounds. I, I went back and forth between those two because September, I went down from 12 pounds from 229, which is 217. Then I lost another eight pounds, bringing me down to 209. So no, in October. So in November, I bounced between 208 and 210, which isn't too bad. December, the month that nearly got me, it was tough. Um, I had to wear a heart rate monitor this month because um, it was an ECG monitor because my heart was out of control and doctors wanted to see what was going on. And this month was a tough month. I barely remember this month, but for some reason, this was the month where things changed. Um, I managed to hit Wonderland this month for the first time. I started off December with a 48 hour fast with barely any sleep, um, barely any, any functioning at all. I barely remember December, not to mention it was a very stressful time financially because I had my insurance company helping me out with finances. Because when you get into an accident, if you have a good insurance plan, they can help supplement your income because 
my accident happened to me while I was on my lunch break at work. So um, I got that taken care of, but there was a screw up in there and I didn't get like any cash that month. It was horrible. But the good news about that month is um, I managed to be able to open up a few credit cards, which I didn't want to do. So at least my credit was good and it's still good. Um, I was able to do that. So that's how I survived December. But December was really tough for me emotionally, but I still managed to make results happen. So in December, I lost a good eight to 10 pounds. I hit Wonderland just before Christmas. I hit 199 pounds. And that was my Christmas gift to myself because of everything I was going through with the accident, the stress, the conflicts at home, I still managed to make something positive out of this dark situation. So I really hope this is inspiring you. If you're really going through it, you know, emotionally, uh, physically with physical pain, because my pain was unmatched physically and I still managed to create some beauty out of the light. So that was a good win. January 1st, I started off at 200 pounds. Not bad considering I only put on a couple pounds post Christmas. That's pretty good considering everything I was going through. So in January, I put on 200 pounds in January, or I didn't put on 200 pounds. I was at 200 pounds in January was the month where I'm like, okay, let's kick it into gear and let's make things happen. End of January, I got down to 188 pounds. So in January with a perfect month of OMAD, I lost another 12 pounds pounds. January was also a tough time uh, physically with my health issues because I was dealing again with the heart palpitations and I had to go to the hospital twice. It was not fun. But again, who cares? I'm creating light in the darkness and I'm so damn proud of myself. February 1st, I started off at 189 pounds. And on February 3rd, I got down to 186 pounds pounds like that was so cool i literally lost four pounds in three days and i was just so ecstatic and so proud of myself and on february 16th was the day that i hit a hundred pounds down on my weight loss journey i got down to 182 pounds so february was a good month for me again it was perfect oh man it was Keto OMAD. These two months were strict keto OMAD. I did forget to mention the earlier months, it was kind of keto. There were mostly keto days, but I had off keto days. But when I did strict keto OMAD in January and February, that's when things really started getting strict with my weight loss journey. And the weight became to just began to melt off. So when I see these numbers, like I ended January off at 188 pounds and I started February off, off at 189 pounds. I want you guys to know that weight loss fluctuations happen. They happen. You might retain water a pound or two there. It's not a big deal. It will happen as long as you keep the scale going in the right general direction. March 1st was the month that I took a diet break. I started off at 180 pounds got down to about 175 pounds, and then I ended up taking a diet break. So March was a little bit crazy because I was getting chaotic advice, let's just say that. So March 1st was the month that I started off at 180, three days later, I got down to 178, and then about March 24th or so, I got down to 175. And then after getting down to 175, I took a diet break. I was told to do a diet break, just not to um, do OMAD so hard. And then I ended up the month of March at, back at 180 pounds. But during that month, I was at my leanest, I was exercising, and I was just mean gaining. I was building muscle in the process. April was a rough start to the month. I, again, dealing with health cha challenges. That month, I had an MRI on my breast because they saw a shadow on my breast. Basically the seat belt hit me so hard or protected me so hard that it did something to my shoulder. I still don't know to this day. I'm having a private MRI in a couple weeks. I have to pay for that out of pocket. I'm still dealing with the consequences of the car accident. And they noticed that there was like a calcified um, little shadow in a square on my breast. And 
the doctors wanted to keep an eye on that. I'd have to still rebook that just to compare it to when I took that ultrasound last year to see where I'm at. So March was, or April was a tough month. A lot of health challenges again. A lot of health challenges. And also with this month, I was dealing with extreme chronic fatigue, pain, not fatigue, pain. My pain was out of this world with my knee and uh, this time I didn't have my knee brace and doctors were just going off an ultrasound saying that I pretty much uh, sprained my MCL. It wasn't until I got the MRI a few months later that I did not have a sprained MCL. I had more. I had a torn meniscus. I had kneecap maltracking. I had fat plaid inflammation. I had so much going on with my knee that doctors, are, doctors don't even know what to do. They don't even want to have surgery on it. But I think I'm going to get a second opinion because right now my knee is acting up and it's been like a year. So I've, it's a battle with the healthcare system. But regardless, I built muscle through all of this. Um, but if you look back at these photos, my legs had no muscle back then compared to now, but I'm proud of myself. So in April, I stayed in the 170s. In hindsight, when I look back at April, that was about a good, like March and April, like six months into losing weight with OMAD, OMAD got me to where I needed to be. And in hindsight, I probably should have stopped when I was in the 170s, but I was so gun ho to getting down to 155 pounds because that's what my BMI said would be the perfect BMI for me. But I'm built differently. I have big bones, I have large breasts, so I'm gonna hold on to weight differently and I have tons of muscle. So I'm just structured differently. And the BMI rule isn't for everyone. And I wish they can change that. For most, like men, it would be spot on, but for women, it can be a little bit off. Where men, it's not even spot on for men. So I was just really obsessed to getting to 155 pounds. And I was really holding on to this journey because I literally had nothing else to hold on to because things were, as you know, really challenging for me. And they still are to this day, but I'm light years away than where I was last year. Now let's jump into May. May was a wild month. I lost a lot of weight very quickly. May 1st, I started off at 180 pounds, yes. And then by May 12th, my birthday, I got down to 169 pounds losing a total of 113 pounds on my weight loss journey. And that was the lowest weight I hit. And I was so proud of myself. Now, I lost a lot of weight quickly, right? That's 11 pounds in 12 days. Well, I was not working out during this time. So when I don't work out, what do I do? I throw in extended fast. Extended fasting is a great way to boost your weight loss journey with OMAD. So that month, I did a back-to-back -back alternate day dry fast. I did 48-hour dry fast, and I did eat an old mad meal, and I ate another. Then I did another 48-hour dry fast. And the reason why I did that is that I wanted to see if it can help heal my injuries because I was giving up. I was still in a lot of pain, even though I was going to the gym and building muscle and all of that. I still did not see my physiatrist at the time yet, who I thought was supposed to be a surgeon, because uh, the Canadian healthcare system, it sucks, okay? I'm grateful for it, but it sucks. And um, it takes months and months and months to see a specialist, which is why I have to pay for my shoulder and hip MRI out of pocket, because I would be waiting another year just to wait for my MRI, and I can't keep going through this. So um, I just wanted to take my health into my own hands. And when I did that back-to-back -back dry fast, my pain was like gone. I felt good. I was only swimming then. I was just taking it easy with exercise. So that is my full eight months of one meal a day. My journey is a bit different. I had a lot of issues going on, but I share my journey to inspire you because if I can do it through everything I'm going through, you can do it through everything you are going through. We have the power to change our destiny. We have the power to respond to any situation that this life throws at us. Choose to respond in a way that you are not limited by fear. Yes, it will be scary. Fear will be there, but move ahead anyway. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word eight months. And I'm sending you guys my love. Take care. Bye.